Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this video I will show how to control uh, Dynamics of Servo using different control modes. In particular, I'm using the XL303 uh, uh, Servo together with the OpenRB150 board and I'm using the Dynamics L2 Arduino library to control the servo. Uh, in all the examples I will show, uh, basically perform in a similar way uh, what I'm doing I'm uh, disactivating uh, the torque in order to um, modify the operating mode of the, the servo and then I activate again the torque of the motor so I can control. Uh, in this first example I'm going to do or to show how it works the uh, PWM control, this is voltage control so I can set the servo in this mode as you can see OP PWM and then with this line here uh, I can select or limit the maximum PWM that I want for my application. In particular here I'm just simply using the, the full range of the PWM so this is 100 uh, duty cycles you can see here. Then I'm setting the, 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 the voltage to zero, wait five seconds just uh, to have so I have time to activate the Arduino plotter and then I set the, the PWM to a, a, a target value, in this case the 50% and here in the Arduino loop I'm just simply for monitoring purposes I'm monitoring the actual PWM value, the current and the velocity. So let's upload this code and see how it works. Let's just wait a moment. Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this video I will show how to control a Dynamixel servo and in particular I'm using the XL330M288T uh, servo together with the Open RB150 board as you can see here and I'm using Arduino ID uh, together with the Dynamixel uh, 2 Arduino library and in all the examples I will show in this video uh, you will see a similar structure in which I just at the beginning I set uh, to off the torque of the servo so I can con uh, modify some of the uh, parameters, uh, internal parameters of the servo, particularly the operating, uh, operating mode and then after some configuration, some settings, then I activate the torque again I set uh, the, uh, the goal of the variable that I want to control uh, to a given uh, to zero sorry and then wait for a moment so I can uh, activate the Arduino plotter and then set the, uh, the value to uh, to go to a different value so I can uh, see how the, the server works okay in particular in this first example I'm just simply setting the PWM uh, goal so the motor uh, will uh, be controlled um, uh, through the voltage and I'm monitoring here the actual PWM uh, value, so this will be a fixed value actually, and then I'm monitoring the current of the motor and also the velocity. So let's just simply upload the code to see how it works. And as you can see, uh, once uploaded, then I activate the serial plotter, and you can see that the servo has a peak current at the beginning, this is the stall uh, torque, and then it starts uh, spinning with a more or less constant velocity. And this blue line here is the PWM signal. In this mode, if I force or slow down the servo, you can see that the velocity decreases and the current increases, and that might be dangerous because the motor might be burned if we do this for a long time period. So there's a different control mode, this is a uh, current mode. In this example it's basically the same idea, here I just simply set the current mode, I can set the maximum um, current that I want for my uh, servo and then here I, I set the goal current. So let's just simply upload the code. And in this 
as you can see now we don't have the peak current because it's been controlled and it's been set to 20 milliamps uh, the blue line is the PWM signal that it's internally been regulated by the, the servo and the green line is the velocity and the main difference now is that if I slow down if I break the servo we can see that we keep the current constant and then we have to decrease the PWM signal, the voltage and also the, the, the velocity okay now if we do a similar thing in uh, velocity control mode now what we will set is actually the velocity in uh, revolutions per minute and the main difference now is that the velocity will be uh, in a feedback uh, mode so if in this case if I try to uh, slow down the motor then the internal uh, PI controller will actually regulate that velocity. Let's see how it works. So this is uh, velocity and then if I try to slow down the velocity as you can see here we keep it constant. This is some kind of disturbance when I release but then immediately gets controlled. So uh, we have regulated the velocity. Okay now so let's let's now move to position control modes let's start with the standard position mode in this case I'm setting uh, the servo uh, to a goal position and I'm generating a, a trajectory that depends on the time and as you can see here I'm driving on uh, moving the servo to the goal position and this trajectory here that will depend on the values that I set here for the profile velocity this is the total amount that I want uh, to reach my goal and this is the acceleration time so if I can I can increase this value here and here so you can see the difference between uh, the previous values and these ones and uh, in the trajectory generator so let's just simply upload the, uh, the code so now it will move the servo to the desired trajectory but with a smoother uh, trajectory uh, to the desired position but with a smoother trajectory so now let's see the difference between uh, this mode and the current based position control mode this is a very interesting mode because in this mode I can control the position of the servo but also I can set the maximum uh, milliamps that I want for my servo uh, when trying to move to that position and this is important because in many robotic applications that has to uh, deal with uh, let's say interaction with humans I can limit this current here so it's safe for humans to interact with this uh, with this uh, let's say servos so you will see the difference uh, when I upload the code here we are we, I'm monitoring uh, the trajectory the position and also but also the current and you will see the difference so now I'm trying and if I slow down you could see that when I press and um, let me just simply reset the board close the Arduino polluter and do it again so the default it will just simply go to the position and will limit the current but if I do the same but if I break the servo you will see that the current never pass the maximum allowed current that I want so this is safe because a current is uh, let's say uh, the same as the torque so this is safe for uh, humans to interact with this kind of service. Okay, thank you very much.